Here we go. So. Oh wait. Should we do the one? Cheese. Okay. I'll start. Okay. Okay. Welcome back to another edition of Pillow Talk. Like always, and by like always, I mean just like the last video, we have our wine. We are gonna basically be talking about our week, the culture that we've been consuming, what we've been up to, how the kiddos are, and what has been consuming our lives lately. Why don't we get started with the first topic that you wrote down? <laughs> yeah, so this is, should be at the top of everyone's list, not just ours, but what we have been listening to nonstop is Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore. It has consumed our entire lives, or at least I feel like it's consumed my entire life. At first, I thought every song sounded the same. I couldn't really find the melodies, but on the second or third listen, I began to realize every song has its own unique like melody and tune and the lyrics. And I mentioned this on, a, on an earlier YouTube live, but the lyrics are, are probably her best lyrics ever. I think this album is so beautifully melancholy. What's your favorite song? August is the only one that I know the name of, so I'm gonna say August. <laughs> but I do love that. We uh, That's a good song. we always listen to that album on the way to the land, yeah. and so I associate it with like being outside mm -hmm. and yeah, love it. It's a very earthy album. This is going to always remind us of like the summer of 2020. Mm. Like the I don't know that that's a good thing. For better or for worse, that's yeah. true. But my favorite song is Invisible String, and then probably This Is Me Trying, and then Betty. Okay, moving on. Let's kind of talk about the last couple weeks with the kids. Our oldest kiddo is going into kindergarten. We knew that most likely we were going to be doing some type of virtual learning or homeschool type thing as long as the state of Tennessee allowed us to do that. We did get him enrolled into virtual learning. I've started looking up worksheets and printing off worksheets for the kids and then Dan sent us some flashcards, which have been oh. so helpful. Dan, thank you so yeah. much. I did not realize how much flashcards are great with kids. And then after he, after he sent those, I ordered a bunch. So we have a ton of flashcards now. So basically Monday through Friday, we do some type of school lesson. School has not technically started yet. I think next week is the first week that it is. he has school. And I, we again, we talked about this in an earlier YouTube live. We didn't feel comfortable sending him to school this year with the pandemic going on. So he's going to do virtual learning. We spent all day on the phone on Friday with Miss Massengale. Not that you would ever watch this Miss Massengale, but thank you for being so sweet. But other than that, they're very, they're doing very well. We both absolutely love the kids. We just feel so fortunate and so blessed to have them in our lives. And it's like, we all, I know we only show parts of our lives with them and we only show you guys what we show you guys. And it's not the whole picture. And so like, you don't see the, the difficult parts. Having these kiddos has completely changed our world and like our outlook on life. I know we say this a lot, but it's like, it can't be overstated that they are like our entire world right now, because how could they not be? I don't know what we would do without them, Yeah, to be honest. So anyways, all that to say, we love them. They're so wonderful. We wish that we could have you meet them because they're so <laughs> lovely, but you'll just have to take our word for it. Yeah. So why don't we jump into something that happened recently obviously we're foster parents we have to go to hearings all the time i say all the time every couple of months however recently just this past week we had a court date this was a court date that we have been waiting for for a long time i think we're a year and a month into fostering the kids so the kids have been in the state custody for a little over a year now and without giving too much information away, this was a, like I said, this was a court date that we had been waiting for for a while because of everything that's going on with the pandemic and stuff. We decided that I would go to the hearing and Thomas would stay back with the kids. Good morning. Good morning. Um, good morning. Friday morning, PJ is getting ready for court. It's actually our first court date in months. I haven't gotten dressed, like dress dress in so long because of the pandemic. I'm not really sure how they're going to do court because of the pandemic. Right. We had the one year update and now we're 
having a new one. This is gonna be a new judge. One of us has to go, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay here with the kids. Thomas ironed my shirt. So handsome, please don't mind that bag of trash right behind PJ. Or the shoes. I got to leave. The last time we had court, it was a phone call and we waited at home from like 9 a.m. to kind of 12. It was like three hours. So I could potentially be waiting a long time. Uh -huh. I don't know if they're gonna make PJ wait in his car and then they're gonna call him in on the phone or if he has to actually go in the courthouse exactly. and sit and wait. I would prefer to wait in my car. Yeah. When you go in the court or courthouse, you can't take in like your phone. phone. So I'll just be sitting there for hours. I think that you will be waiting in the car. I think. Do you have your mask? It's in the car. Okay. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks, Google Bat. Ow. How did it go? It's fine. Nothing really happened. They literally like addressed the case for maybe four minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the attorney for this kid, like the state of t like child protective services was just like, I'll get with so-and-so to set a trial hearing, which means it's going to get pushed out. I mean, I guess the alternative could have been, they, they would have said there are no grounds in this one, right? Is that what could have happened? The trial has to be set. So, so but at least you were in and out as opposed to last time waiting four hours. Yeah. So that's over. We don't have court for a few more months now. Yeah. A long process. Yeah, so that's that's that. You've get, you we've given you an update on the kids and kind of where we are with the the foster care process. At this point, the kids will be in our custody for our the, care. Oh yeah, I say <laughs> the kids will be in our care for the foreseeable future. Okay, moving on. So speaking of what's in the best interest for the kids. As an update on how we're dealing with the pandemic, we are still social distancing to, to the, the max. max. James. We're social distancing. We don't go anywhere unless it's walking around our neighborhood. We will go sometimes to the park that is not very popular. It's where um, our oldest kiddo goes to school. However, they go back to school next week, so we're not gonna do the park anymore. Right, we can't go in the park anymore. And whenever we go, there's no one ever there. We usually go in the evening. Um, and then of course we'll go to the land. Yeah, we go to the land uh, a lot. But they don't, we don't want the kiddos to go to the store with us if we have to go to get groceries. We're just trying to protect them, I think, as much as we can. Uh-oh, uh -oh. one of the kiddos is awake. <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh guys, hold on. We're gonna stop this. One of the kiddos is crying. Oh no. I say we move on from social distance. I thought I had some more things to say. If you can social distance, please do. Please wear a mask. Yeah, so wear a mask, the end. Or that, or we can just cut it short. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll move on. So if you have an Instagram account, you've seen that Instagram rolled out Reels, which is basically TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> under a new name. So far we really like it. We're doing a lot of how-to videos, whether that be in the kitchen or DIY tips around the house or home renovation tips. And then we're also implementing our relationship, whether that be a husband challenge or a mm -hmm. couple's challenge. So if you have an Instagram, you should go check it out. Let's give a cottage update. Cottage. We have pretty much completed all of the rough-ins for electrical, plumbing, HVAC. We have sheetrock now. I've started installing the trim in the crown molding. The tile person got started last week and he will be finished tomorrow, which is really exciting. Both of the bathrooms turned out really, really awesome. Yes. We went to the home improvement store and took turns going inside to pick out the tile that we wanted to use. So. I would go in and then Thomas would stay in the car with the kids and then we would switch and then we kind of compared. We filmed that, so that'll be in this video, right? Uh-uh, that's in that other one. Oh, that's in the, oh. <laughs> so yeah, you've already seen that. Um, no, they won't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't see that one yet. That's a video that's coming. 
Um, but yes, the cottage is very much, I think, what we both pictured. We Our biggest inspiration for the cottage was European uh, influ influence. And I think specifically Amsterdam. Obviously, you guys know how much we love Amsterdam. We've gone several times in the last couple of years. And we fell in love with the design and the whole aesthetic of Amsterdam. So that was always our biggest inspiration in the colors and the design that we chose for this cottage. So I think that we... I think it's coming together how we pictured it. Yes. When we bought the cottage, we were initially going to make an Airbnb. Because of the pandemic, we have decided not to do that. Yes. Then we were going to either rent it or sell it. In the last week or so, we have been um, consulting with a friend of ours who we actually met on YouTube and Instagram. And after talking to her, we have most likely decided to sell it just because of where the economy is and all of that. So we are going to sell it. However, there is a chance that Thomas's mom is going to buy it. That would be really cool because the cottage is really close to our house so we could walk to it. The kids could go over there and play in the backyard. It's got a really nice backyard. But yeah, that's a cottage update. That would be really cool. We, I don't think Lila really knows just yet if she wants to do it or not, but yeah. downsizing has been something that she's been talking about for a long time and she went and looked at it yesterday, so. We'll keep you posted on I that. hope she does. That'd be so cute. I mean, that would be really Because it would yeah. keep it in the family. And like, we love this little cottage. And I think we've mentioned on here before, we've thought about maybe selling everything and moving into it at one point. It's so, it's a really cute. It's, it's just adorable. It's too small for our family, but it is really cute. Yes, very true. Okay, why don't we talk about real quick, the shows that we are consuming lately. So we have been obviously like everyone else at home all day every day and so at night we really take advantage of the downtime and we binge shows specifically on netflix so we just finished warrior nun and i'm gonna be honest that's on netflix i'm gonna be honest that was a show that we both were like eh, i don't know if we're gonna love this mm -hmm. like are we gonna connect with the characters are we gonna get invested in the in their backstories and in the storyline y'all so good by the end of it we were like, wait, what? That's the last episode? Yeah. Like, we were so, we loved it. It was so, so, so good. If you haven't seen Warrior Nun, highly recommend that. We just started season two of... The Umbrella Academy. Yes. We loved that one. <laughs> and so yeah, that one's good. Such a good show. What did we finish? We watched Elite before we did Warrior Nun. Yeah. And shows that we're looking forward to that are coming soon the boys on amazon prime season two season two and then i just saw a trailer for a new show that's going to be on hbo max we don't have hbo max but i am definitely going to do the free trial to watch this show <laughs> and it was called don't ask me because i have no idea um raised by wolves it's a sci-fi show which i love sci-fi but it looks so good i want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everyone that's been sending the kids books lately you guys have been sending so many books and we appreciate it so much because they ask for a book to read every, every single, single night. night which to me means so much because i was never the kid that wanted to be read read to at night because my parents just didn't read to me but as an adult or like teenager or young adult i always liked the thought of books and I like the thought of reading books even though I didn't do it so for me it was always going to be important to be that type of parent that read to my kids and the fact that the kids ask for a book every single night instead of like mm -hmm. they don't ask for tv they ask for a book you read me a book that's what they say it is the cutest thing and I absolutely love it it really is and it's um we have to t <laughs> they I think that because they're so young they don't really understand the situation but I, th I think that they think that there's just some like magical person that automatically sends them books in the mail and that every kid gets this they don't understand like the whole idea behind like where the books come from right and so but we do try to explain like guys you know so and so sent us this book isn't that so sweet and they're always like yes and so we we try and explain to them as best as we can where the books come from but all we know is that we are so grateful and thank you guys so much for sending them because they have really helped especially the older kiddo because he's five and they've really helped him you guys will actually read. See, yeah was that that wasn't in the last vlog was it yes or yeah was, that was okay. in the last one we ended on him reading me and him reading yeah, and yeah. 
he will like pick out words that he knows and he'll read them to me mm -hmm. um and he gets so excited whenever he gets a word right so yeah thank you guys so, so thank much. you yeah you know. a, a lot of that is because of you guys and the books that you've sent so i'm like getting emotional <laughs> talking about it it is really thank very you. very sweet thank you guys yeah. so much thank, thank you. you really so over the last probably a week i would say we've been working on stuff around the house for about a week mm. Thomas is going, going, going. I am on a roll and I cannot be stopped. Backing on yesterday's organization, we are rearranging the kids' room once again. We are rearranging the playroom once again and another bedroom once again. Anyways. Busy, busy, busy. We've been very focused on trying to organize our house, whether that be rooms or closets or dressers with clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. We started the laundry room renovation back in March when the pandemic hit and never really finished it. We finished basically the construction part of it, but we knew that we wanted to add different prints and frames in the room. And so the last three days I've been working in the laundry room hanging art and prints different frames to try to get it finished so that we could not only well for one get finished but then for two we've been filming Instagram reels like TikTok videos to create different types of content for like how-to videos. Today was a good day we um, obviously had court this morning, but we got a lot complete on the house today. Pretty much all day I worked on this room. This is the laundry room that I started working. Oh, also I have a battle scar. We were playing around with the kids tonight and middle kiddo's teeth hit my forehead. Oh, that sounds that a big gash. Anyway, so we had finished this side of the laundry room, but all of the art that we had in the rest of the room was not finished. And it's still not technically finished, but it's like there was nothing and now there's something. We'll eventually start replacing stuff. But um, I kind of refinished this mirror because it was kind of an ugly gold. That was a brassy gold, so I refinished it. And then this was a white color that wasn't very pretty, so I just made it look older. The feel of this room is like old world-ish. And then, yeah, like very collected over time, cozy. We had this like old light that we did here. Like I said, it's not really finished. We put these firm prints up because we have them. Eventually we'll probably switch these out. And, um, but yeah, for the most part, the laundry room is finished. Yeah, it's worlds better from where it started before quarantine. So I've been working in the laundry room and I'll let you chime in with what you've kind of been up to. Well, while PJ's been in the laundry room doing an amazing job, by the way, he spent like six or seven hours today perfecting oh my God, the laundry awful. room. It was awful. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that after three years, we finally have a laundry room that we enjoy going into because for the longest time, it was just a square white room with literally nothing in it except for the wash and dryer and then everything else that we didn't know what Jumped. to do with. AKA junk. It was a junk room. And it just ended up in that laundry room and is also the pet's room. So it's where our, our dogs and our cat sleep. And our cat litter box. So it was just like, ugh, we never, that's, there's a reason we never showed it on camera. And that's why. It is finished, but you're gonna have to wait for the reels reveal. <laughs> the reels <laughs> reveal. The reels reveal. To see it, but um, yeah. I'm sure you'll see some of the before photos in this video, but yeah, it's, it turned out exactly how I think we wanted it to turn out. Yeah, it looks so good. So while PJ was doing that, I was doing, I was organizing our clothes in our closet. So I do, I like to do it, this about every three months, I call it a closet cleanse. And it's where we go through our closet and I'll pick out clothes that we don't wear a lot or we, that we haven't worn in a while. And I'll put them in a pile and I'm like, I don't want these at all, PJ. You go and, through them. And then I go through them and take half of them out and put them back in the closet. Right. PJ has a hard time letting go of I am certain a hoarder when yes. it comes to everything. You said it, not me. I've always said it. <laughs> um, he gives the final approval on what, what what he wants to keep. And But anyways, and then we, we take those to Habitat and donate those. So I did that. I organized all of our drawers. We have a couple dresses in our room that I organized and got rid of some clothes. Our closet 
is a little bit decluttered. And then I also finally put um, our new rug down in our bedroom that we've had rolled up in the corner for the last six months. We bought it forever ago and it's just been sitting there staring at me in the face, mocking me for not putting it up. Lead the way. Mm-hmm. So I took up our old rug that was in here and I put down this new jute rug. Which we well, had. I think it's jute. We've had it for months. Yeah, five or six months. It's just been rolled up in the corner right there. And we, and use, we have two doors to our bedroom and we couldn't use this door. Yeah, because the rug was literally right there blocking it. So I took up the old rug today, took the mattress off, put it over there and laid this one down. It took a couple of hours. It was a labor of love, but I really, really like the way it turns out. Turned but I really, out. really like the way it turned, it turned out. out. Turned out, <laughs> so it's been a long damn tire. Yeah, this room is also not finished. We are going to switch our bed down here with the bed that the oldest kiddo is using. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, um, like a jute, what is that? Like wicker? Jute Almost like a wicker bed. rug, yeah. Or a bed, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna switch this bed with that bed. And then the oldest kiddo will get this bed. And then we're gonna buy new nightstands. We're gonna get new art for behind our bed. And we're going to probably paint our room. Yes, we haven't decided if we're gonna do a white or a very dark moody color. Cause this room doesn't get a lot of natural light anyway. So I'm like, do we embrace the darkness of this room and do a like a dark moody and have it be a high contrast with the rug? Or do we go all white and just make it very calming and like, peaceful and serene i don't know yeah so that's where we're at here but i love the way do you like the rug also i don't know if this ever made a youtube appearance but this is a piece of art that we got and we both really love it the end wait what were you about to say i said do you like the rug you haven't really told me yes or no um i i think so i don't know it's the color of it it's probably a little off for me but maybe whenever we get the darker bed down here, they won't. They're kind of blending in together right now. I haven't really ever loved our master bedroom, to be honest. It's sad. But it's it's a hodgepodge of stuff. So well, we have like this bed. This is a piece of furniture that my dad refinished for me. That's from my like great great mammal, and then this is from my mammal. This is a piece that, did I buy that? We got it in an antique store, we love it. And then this is a piece that we bought from another realtor that we know. It's just like, I want more. <laughs> well, and then we have like those blinds on that door and those blinds on the window. And we don't really like the ceiling fan. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's not that, I don't mind it that much. Honestly, the mess, our, our bedroom is always like the last room in the house that we- It's always been like focus that. Focus on, it's all, yeah, it's always been like that. And so, honestly, most of the junk just ends up here and stashed in the corner anyway. So this is a major improvement over what it's been looking like the last five months. Yeah. Our bedroom feels a little different now. Yeah. It feels a little airier and lighter. And, and, and then we, we moved some prints, different prints down here. Yeah. Um, we moved the boys' room around. So now the kids all have their own room, mm -hmm. which meant that we did lose our brand new playroom that we had. RIP. But we were able to move that kind of out into the landing office area. So they still have a playroom, yeah. but now they each have their own bedroom. So the last few days we've been working in their rooms, moving furniture around and mm -hmm. beds around mm -hmm. and yeah, tweaking it to make rugs it. around. Yes. So yeah, just the last few days we've been trying to organize the house for sure. Which like that, I'm gonna be honest, that's like my dream day, my dream weekend is to spend like moving stuff around in our house. It always feels so good whenever you organize something that is a disaster. We have a lot of areas in our house that are disasters, so when we can tackle one and get it like knocked out and it's organized and clean, it feels really good. It does. And I'm just gonna end on this note, whenever you're home all day, every day for the last five months, you kind of have to switch things up to keep it interesting and to have some sort of like change because it has literally been the same thing every day for five months and we need something, we need some kind of change to take our mind off things and to 
to stimulate us. As you guys know, we've been going out to the land quite a bit. It's kind of like we've always said our our release and our escape. And we're so grateful to have it. The kids love it. We love it. We all just get to go out and disconnect. And this is something that I was thinking about a lot recently that the need to disconnect during this time of COVID-19 and like quarantine and the pandemic and how kind of challenging it is to disconnect, especially whenever you do social media for a job like we do and just like your mental health like there was there was a time about a month ago that spanned the length of like two or three months where like we were not in the best place mentally and this quarantine was really hard on us and it took a it took a toll on us and i think a lot of that was i don't know do you think social media helped or do you think it made it worse i don't know i think I think just the whole, for me, it was just the whole scenario. I was like, I can't, I couldn't believe that it was happening. I couldn't yeah. believe everything that was happening. It was almost like a shock. Like, but yeah. So I don't know. But yeah, mentally, it was really, the, there was a few. And I mean, you can even watch our videos to see, mm -hmm. like for me specifically, it affected me a really, really hard in the beginning. The Honestly, up until like maybe two weeks ago, I didn't feel that good about it. I'm finally back into a good place, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know other than just like the overall experience of what was going on. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, that's just, you know, it, it shows that this pandemic is affecting everyone in different ways. And some people have coped with it just fine. And some people it has really taken a toll on them because like the future I feel like has never been more uncertain than it is right now. And we don't know what's gonna happen. And like having the kids that creates issues. It's like, our, we wanna keep them safe. And so all that to say, sometimes, you know what, I think what we need right now, and I think it's important for everyone is to be able to disconnect at least sometimes, you know, put your phone away, go somewhere, even if it's in your house where you can just be by yourself with your thoughts. And PJ is a lot better about this than I am. I am, I always have my phone on me because I always think I want to take a photo of something or like, again, whenever social media is your job, everything can be content. And so you, you always want to film and you always want to take pictures because it could be an Instagram reels or it could be a YouTube video. It's like, where is the line between wanting to capture that moment or just wanting to be present for it. Find something that brings you joy and peace. And for us, I think that this week it's been the projects that we've been working on. That sure. has been our joy. And so, yeah, it's a weird time. It's a weird time that we're living in. It's a crazy time. Yeah, for sure. I think so I feel it, like right? that yeah. wraps up our pillow talk. Yeah. That was a hodgepodge of thoughts that just came spewing out of our mouth. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye, guys.